Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Ferris, and how are y'all doing this evening? Well, we're back at it again. We've got another project that we're working on. This time it's an 87 V20 pickup. Now, V20 uh, pickup is a Chevrolet three quarter ton. Now, you've probably seen some pictures if you follow me on Facebook of this truck. Um, it's the first year for fuel injection for an 87, and this truck is in good shape. It's a real nice looking truck. So this truck here does not run. A customer contacted me and wanted to get it running. So I'm going to go and get this truck to run. He's got some parts for it and I had to go get some parts. And we're going to put it together and see if we can get this truck to run. So uh, let's get down to uh, where this truck is at. And I'll show you what I've been doing to it to get this truck to run. Well here you go. Here's the 87K20 uh, Chevrolet pickup. This one here belongs to uh, a customer of mine. His name is Casey. As a matter of fact, we did the uh, lift kit on his Ranger not too long ago, and now he wants me to work on his 87 uh, Chevrolet K20 pickup. This one here um, was the first year for fuel injection in this truck, and it's got a 5.7 350 fuel injected motor in it. And I tell you what, this is a clean truck for the age of it. And also the amount of miles on it. It doesn't have very many miles on the truck. It's been used. So I just thought I'd show you a little walk around on it before we get started working on it. Um, it does run and I'm getting power to the fuel pump, but the fuel pump is not coming on. So we're going to replace the fuel pumps and it's got two fuel pumps in it. Uh, one for each tank and there's a, a left side tank and there's a right side tank in this truck and uh, This truck is a four-wheel drive truck if you haven't noticed uh, As well, it's got a winch in the front. It's got a uh, headache rack and uh, It's even got a hitch in the back in the bed for uh, hauling trailers and things like that. So uh, Let's get started on it. I'm gonna drop the uh, one of the tanks on it and replace the fuel pump and see if we can get this one here uh, to run on its own So here's the fuel tank from the right hand side of the truck uh, If you notice it's not in too bad a shape on the outside uh, But on the inside uh, we noticed that it was really dirty inside uh, the tank as well on the bottom as well as on the sides of the tank uh, It was all rusted and so I took out the uh, fuel sending unit here and that's what the fuel sending unit looks like. It's all rusted and corroded. The fuel pump doesn't work on it. And uh, it's just in really bad shape. So the next th next best thing uh, for us to do is to put new fuel tanks uh, in this truck. I've gotten the right side one out already as well as the left side tank out as well. We figured on the uh, left side it's going to be as bad as the right side. So I didn't even pop the... Uh, sending unit out of that one uh, We just took it out and we're going to replace uh, Both fuel tanks in this truck now. I've already gone ahead and Gotten the new fuel tank new sending unit fuel pump and everything put it together and We've put it up in the truck already on the right side and I put a little bit of fuel in it and Activated the fuel pump and got it primed up and got it started up and running so now <clears throat> What I'm going to do right now is put the other fuel tank in. We've already got the other fuel tank assembled with the new fuel pump, new sending unit, and already in the uh, straps or in the uh, holder for it to hold on the frame because it goes on the these tanks go on the outside of the frame of the truck. Uh, back in the 80s, early 80s, these tanks were mounted on the outside in between the frame and the bed uh, of the truck. Nowadays, they're inside the frame. For better safety better protection uh, on the newer trucks so let's get get that put in there and put everything back together and see how this truck does well what do y'all think we got it all back together she's running like a charm and is ready to be put on the road we got the fuel tanks back in it and we're going to put some more fuel on the uh, driver's side fuel tank on this truck. I think this truck sounds pretty good. If 
if you tell me. Again, this is an 87 Chevrolet three quarter ton pickup. And obviously it's four wheel drive with the winch on it in the front. And it's ready to go. Well, there you have it, folks. That was the 87 Chevrolet three quarter ton that belongs to Casey. Uh, we got it running and we got it all up and working like it should. And he's out in West Texas with it, using it like it should be used and having a good old time with it. Now, I'm sorry for the video being as short as it is. Uh, we got a lot going on, including that right behind me. That's right, the Polaris Ranger is coming back for part two. Um, if you look if you haven't seen part one yet go back in my videos and look at part one and see what we're doing to the Polaris Ranger I've got the engine back. I've got parts for that engine and we're gonna put it together in another video and get it all working and Running like it should that's gonna be part two in another video Plus we have another co-part walk around that's coming up as well uh, in the next uh, week or two also we started working on the free travel trailer. I'm putting a video together, uh, what we've been doing to the travel trailer since we've had it. We've been starting to clean it up and do some stuff to it. I'm putting a video together and you will not want to miss that as well. I'm also doing the giveaway of $50 when I hit 50 subscribers. Now, the caveat to that is you have to comment here on my YouTube channel. It can be this video or it can be other videos. But share and comment here on the videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the video as well and hit the notification bell. That way you receive all the upcoming videos that are up and coming with the Fearless Fly channel. I thank everybody for watching. Hope everybody is safe. Hope everybody enjoys the evening and we'll catch you all on the next video.